Hi everyone, my name is John, or Call Sign Jumbo. I had just picked up several GoPro cameras and couldn't wait to get to the airport to try them out. But this trip wasn't going to be about the cameras. As you'll soon find out, I had a lot going on in that cockpit, including an electrical failure that I was not even aware of until later. One seven five five Zulu. Wind one niner zero at zero six. Visibility one zero. Sky condition scattered three thousand niner hundred. Temperature two eight Celsius. Dew point one seven Celsius. Altimeter three. Hello, Rank County traffic. Cessna eight five seven four X rays taxi to runway two five Rank County. And 73 X ray is clear of 25 Lorraine. How was the ride up there? Not too bad. Uh, you'll like it a little bit better. Your plane's a little heavier. Yeah, a little bit. I figured it'd be a little choppy out that way. It's not that bad. Well, we're trying this out. This battery's dead. It's been on charge all night long, so I'm not to get a new one. But we're trying out our new GoPros, and uh, we're going to do a run-up over here and uh, take it up and see what it does. So the problems I was having were multiple. First, uncharacteristically, I could not get COM1 to work. It would not transmit. After struggling with it for a little bit, I chose to use COM2, which came through loud and clear. Then, to make matters worse, my camera setup wasn't the greatest, and I struggled with power supply issues, mounts, and other patch cords to record the audio recordings. After leveling off into a cruise configuration, I thought I'd give COM1 another try. When toggling between the two radios to test them, the amp meter changed noticeably from positive to negative amps without me noticing.
So to make matters more confusing, I had to rewire the camera setup to use the right seat audio jacks because the front camera's battery was dead and I needed to plug it into the USB power supply which is located on the right side of the panel on this airplane. All of my radio calls were now made from the push to talk button from the right yoke. I was now up to about Cedar Point and I decided to turn back and head inbound to Lorraine County. As I was making my turn, I did notice that we had some traffic that was in our right quarter, rear quarter, up 900 feet, so I was looking for him as I was making this turn. Right about when I went back to wings level here, the T-cask on the Garmin 430 triggered and notified me that this traffic was oncoming and that I needed to avoid him. There you can see the traffic 900 feet above me crossing over the top. The weather was a touch hazy and I was inbound for landing so I thought I'd turn on my landing light and you can noticeably see the amp meter pegged to the discharge oh, yeah, side. We're just, uh, just be having all kinds of trouble. Just not having the right uh, equipment makes a big deal. So, you know, we're just playing around here up on the islands. We just had a TKS go off. We had a traffic above us at uh, 900 feet and then crossed our path and was coming at us, so we had them all the way. Now we're heading back to this track here to uh, intercept our original path out of Frank County, and so we're going to go take it back and see how, this, uh, see how this thing works on landing. So that's it, and uh, we'll, see you, uh, we'll see you on the ground. During my pre-landing checklist, turning on the fuel pump triggered a surge that energized the charging system and the amp meter immediately pegged it to the positive side. Only this time, it seemed like it was overcharging and causing a nasty squeal in the intercom system that you could hear on the audio tape. While making a radio call, the circuit breaker decided it had enough for a final shift.
So the lesson learned today was all about cockpit management. Aviate, navigate, and communicate, which I did fairly well, but what I failed to do was to complete the scan of the entire panel, which should have included every instrument. A good thorough scan of every instrument, not just the engine instruments, most likely would have revealed this issue. And the other lesson learned is to not let yourself get preoccupied with dealing with non-essential components and neglect your basics. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you like this video please smash the thumbs up button and also click the bell to get new video notifications. And thanks for watching.